Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create these beautiful plum grayish looking rustic floral wedding invitations. They're absolutely gorgeous. They have a watercolor effect and um, I just am absolutely in love with them. Anyways, we're going to be using templates today and I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to, cre to create your own wedding invitation suites in Photoshop. Um, I want to put something out there. You do not have to use Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop or if you don't want to use Photoshop, that is completely okay. You can use any editing software that you choose. You can use PicMonkey, which is free online. You can use Microsoft Word. You can use any program that will allow you to add text to an image. Anything, PowerPoint, Word, PicMonkey, Canva, um, Photoshop, any of those will work. Today I'm going to be using Photoshop because it is a popular editing program and a lot of people like to use it. But I am going to show you that this is totally beginner friendly and really easy to do. And for anybody who is looking to save some money on their wedding budget, which I think when you're planning a wedding, everybody is. Um, I'm going to show you how you can just save a really significant amount of money on wedding stationery because we all know that wedding invitations are extremely expensive. So here we go. What you're going to do is you're going to open this template in Photoshop by just clicking File, Open, and then you're going to browse for the file on your computer and bring it up in Photoshop. It is already sized for you here at 5 by 7. The artwork is already in place. The header Wedding is already in place. All you have to do is add your text and save it, and then you're ready to print. It is super easy to do. These are um, templates that are ready to use with the artwork already in place and in some cases the header is already in place and they are made so that you can just easily add your event details um, by text and that's it and then you're ready to go so let me just show you how simple it is okay the invitation is up you're gonna just go over here to the left and you're gonna click on the T icon which is for text and you are going to just start typing you're gonna Click wherever you want to start typing and you'll see that you, the blinking cursor here, you're ready to start typing. Up here is where you're going to choose your font. It's already selected on the font that I want, but all of your computer fonts will be there for you to choose from. So I'm going to use this one because it's a classic font that I like. And the font size is here, so you can also adjust that as you go if you need to adjust the size up or down. So I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. And I'm just going to start typing. So I'm just going to say at the top here, together with their families. And then I'm going to hit the control T button, which will select the whole thing and allow me to drag it into whatever place I want it. Oh, and I want to put it right here. And then over here in your layers palette, you'll see there's the text that we just entered. You're just going to hit control J and it's going to duplicate that layer. And now you can just click on this move tool here in the corner and you can move that layer down that you just duplicated. So it makes it easier. It just saves a little time uh, when you're wanting to type several different areas of text. Um, so together with their families and in this box I'm going to click, I'm going to highlight because we're going to be typing over and I'm just going to write Michelle and Patrick Joyce, joyfully, see if I can spell today, joyfully invite you to celebrate there, and then wedding is already here. So, control T again, and I'm going to drag it from here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just by dragging the corners like that. Okay, same thing, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit Control J again and it's going to duplicate another. I'm going to click over here in the corner on the Move tool and drag down the text that I just recreated, duplicated. And I'm going to select this by highlighting it and typing over that as well. So we'll type a wedding date. Saturday, June 22nd, 2019 at three o'clock in the afternoon. 
Oak Valley Ranch, 4597, Pine Road, Dallas, Texas. When does it go? Now, this is just sample wording that I'm using to show you guys how quickly this can be put together. You can use whatever wording you want. Um, if you go to Google, you'll find several examples of wedding wording from very casual to very formal, so it's up to you. I'm just showing you this way so you can see how quick it is. And then I'm going to do one last sentence at the bottom here, and I'm just going to write reception to follow. Bring that down just a little, right about there. And this up here, I would like to make it a little bigger. I hit Control T, and I'm just dragging it so it's a little bigger. And we are done. Look, it just took just a few minutes to do that. Where did this text go? That's so interesting that I must have gotten rid of that on accident. So let me just add that back in really quick. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm gonna add um, Michelle and Patrick. I fully invite you. to celebrate your wedding. Okay, perfect. So now it's all there. It's ready to go. It took just a couple of minutes for us to create this invitation. And look how beautiful that is. And there's so many different options for wording and how you want things placed. It's really, really, really easy. Um, another thing that um, I want you guys to know as well is you, when you go to download these templates, you not only get the wedding invitation, but you get the RSVP card and you get the details card. So let's just go ahead and edit those super quickly. So here's your RSVP card. You're going to open it in Photoshop, just like you did the invitation. And you're going to go over here to the text box. You'll see the artwork is already in place and the header is already in place. You're just going to type in your RSVP details. So let's just start typing. The favor of a response is requested. Bye. And then we'll put a date. Now, don't worry that it's all the way over to the left side and it looks crazy right now. I'm going to address it. Um, there's the RSVP date. And then we're going to move it over so that it's more centered. About there. Let's fix that. There's a little extra space there. I'm going to highlight just the date and I'm going to make it bigger so that it stands out more. So about there. And then I'm going to type a few more details at the bottom. So I'm going to type, I'll make an underscore and put, this is where your guests will choose whether or not they can come. I'm going to scoot this over. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit Control J and it's going to duplicate it and I'm going to move that down here. I'm going to highlight this text and I'm going to put in a signature line. And a line for 
from birth, yes. Now again, I just use some standard RSVP wording. You can have it say whatever you want. That's the beauty of these templates is you can create them to say whatever you want. So um, that took just a couple of minutes and now your RSVP card is done. Now we're gonna go over here to this tab and complete the details card the same way we just did the other two. So you're gonna select text and you're just gonna start typing. So on the details card, you can put you know directions, hotel accommodations, if you want people to know about your registry or any little details that you want uh, your guests to know when you send out your invitation. So on this one, I'm just gonna write, um, for more information, Regarding directions, accommodations, registry, and more, please visit our wedding website, www.monicaandpatrick. So, you know, if you have a a website that you got, you know, from the not.com or, or another similar type of a site, then um, this is where you would be able to share that with your guests. So I'm just going to put it here, just like that. And there you go. You have the entire suite done. You've got your invitation. You've got your RSVP. And you've got your information card. And all you have to do is save these to your computer and print them either at home or using a print vendor of your choice, like this to print, or if you want to go to Kinko's or Office Max or anywhere that you can print on cardstock. Um, these are really easy to print. They're already sized. The artwork is already in place. It's just a matter of adding your text and your event details and saving it to your computer. So when you save these, you're just going to click File, Save As, and you're going to name it and you're going to save it to your computer just like you would any other document or file. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to put the links down below in the description box where you can access these templates. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to, forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.